WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, everybody. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is, of course, the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope your day was profitable. Uh, the composite is trading up about 0.08% right now. Dow Jones Industrial up about the same. That dollar finishing uh, pretty high right now for the day at 101.60. Okay, that's off from that kind of uh, trend we've had about the mid 100s there. Uh, copper trading off about, excuse me, up about 1.61% at $4.66 on that contract. Gold contract off a little bit by 0.39%. The Russell Futures off about 0.17%. And then silver having an okay day as well, up about 1.08%. And then let's see where we just finished in the SPY, just 568.80. See if we can get that 570 level uh, tomorrow as well. Let's see, anything else interesting right now on my thing? Disney doing a little bit better after that um, higher valuation that it received, which is kind of nice. Lucid up 2.45%. I'm gonna look at Rivian. It's like staring in the mirror every morning. Yep, up 2.0%, excuse me, 2.01%, that's all right. And then Steel Dynamics, we're gonna see right now, okay? If we reject that 130 and come back down, let's say even to 120, I can anticipate because of how this thing usually moves and then we get a rejection of that 120, whew. I think, like I said, it tends to do this kind of stuff. And again, whatever it does in the past, obviously is not you know indicative of the future, but Still, it has this really nice sound of cyclical nature to it as well. And I know Basil talks about it as well. And so you want some of his analysis on it. I would certainly recommend checking out his show tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, Nuclear Bros. Man, guess the corrosion at the Palisades plant in Michigan that we were so hyped about because Uncle Sam gave him $1.5 billion uh, to relaunch it uh, is far exceeded estimates. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So let's see. As part of an effort by the administration to support nuclear energy, we know about this. Poltec must ensure the generators will meet the NRC requirements if the agency authorizes returning Palisades to operational status. And that's supposed to be by 2028, which is uh, honestly pretty close, especially when you're talking about getting a nuclear reactor online. Trading at 4945. Um, you know what, if I'm coming on tomorrow, I'm going to save it for you. But I had read this interview with um, an energy department person, and he was a little bit suspect on nuclear. But, I mean, what can I say? I don't work for the energy department. But I, but I think we're seeing such investment from these large enterprises that it's kind of inevitable at this point. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We're joined tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, by Tommy O'Brien for the Morning Market Kickoff, followed by Basil, Steve Rhodes, Larry, and then we'll see you.